Aquarius, I've already gotten a glimpse at your your mystical and Norman cards that I have pulled for. Look, if by the end of these reads, you're gonna, I'm going to get closer. I'm going to be laying down by the time Pisces comes because I didn't get closer and closer. I started up with a different shirt on sweater. I was up energy high, sunlight. Yeah. And now I'm like, hey, Aquarius, you just going to be your reading that got the Lenormand cards. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Actually, Aquarius, I'm very happy to be here with you because it means that I'm almost done. <laughs> okay. Oh. Child. Oof. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, Aquarius, this is going to be your... Morgan Greer. It's 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 hard to say Morgan Greer and then think I'm going to say Mystical Lenormand later. Morgan Greer, Mystical Lenormand. Can you say that four times fast? I didn't say three. I said four because I want to challenge you. Okay, so <laughs> let's see what card is over here at the... Okay, right. Okay. You saying you ain't into being challenged right now. Okay, with this card. Ah. But you know what this card is? This card is like destructive thoughts. Right? Mars. Aggression. Right? Passionately thinking. Look, I'm looking at this dog right here that's in front of me. And it's like a stuffed dog. And I'm like, you know, because I look off when I read. Even in my personals, child, I'd be looking off and they're like, I'm like, just let me do it. <laughs> Aquarius. So I'm looking at this damn dog. And it's just so funny that like Aquarius is represented by the fool card and there's a dog in there. So I'm looking at this dog as I'm reading for you, like as if it was you. Honey. So anyway, this is just you needing to evolve past a situation. Stop thinking about it. Stop worrying about it. It has lived its lifespan for you. You know what I mean? It's, it's the end of the cycle of driven worry, right? The, and the worry is driven by uncertainty. So if you're thinking about something that you're very uncertain about, then you're just really going to be adding more uncertainty by driving your thoughts with that uncertainty. Stop. This is definitely a stop sign card. So pay attention to the signs on the road. You know what I mean? <clears throat> when you're driving, literally, I'm telling you to do that. Um, and this is kind of like a slow down card, too. So some of you, when you're driving, slow down. When you're making turns, slow down. That's the scariest part about driving, is making turns, sharp turns. You know, and this is also kind of like... You're seeking some kind of spiritual ninth house, right? And Virgo, hermit. You're seeking to evolve past a situation spiritually, but you are kind of, it's like getting back on the same path and expecting to see something different, you know? And it's like, if you allow yourself to just kind of keep remembering something as it was then it's gonna keep being that so this is kind of like getting past the fear of not knowing all of the answers about a situation that is no longer happening You know, you can stop thinking about it. And you can also stop following them. And you can also stop looking at their social media. Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising. You got me hot again, just like I'm talking about. <laughs> From the beginning of the reading. All right, y'all. So now I got to pick these cards up and under the bear. The bear is like, you know, coming out of hibernation. The bear is definitely feeling 
revived, replenished, or is seeking refreshment, seeking replenishment, okay? But then it's also kind of like um, a reliable source. <laughs> Because when you're replenished by something, then it's actually a reliable source of replenishment, a reliable source of energy, a reliable source of information, or whatever. Reliable nutrition, right? Aquarius. So you could need to ground your habits, you know? This, I mean, I mentioned stress eating in another reading. Yeah, I think it, I think it might have, I, I forget which one it was. But <clears throat> this is definitely stress eating because the hermit rules the digestive system. And this is connected to stress, right? And then this is nine, which is the moon. The moon is connected to like food and eating and emotional, you know, attachments that we have to things that we consume okay being that the moon is ruling cancer in astrology which is opposite capricorn which is i consume i use and i basically eat y'all and then we have this being mars which is exalted in capricorn which is i'm consuming you're processing you're consuming too much processed food you need something more natural and that's where the bear comes in For real. I love a snack. <laughs> I live. I need to always have something. You know, I, I sat up here and ate something that was not wholesome. It was basically a bagel. Okay. And I had like some hash browns and coffee. Okay. But sometimes for breakfast, I will literally eat like vegetables. Like Breakfast to me doesn't always have to be like eggs and sausage and stuff like that. There's so many different ways to prepare breakfast for yourself. You know what I mean? So this is just being more thoughtful, okay, and logical, right, about where you receive your help, who you receive your help from, you know, where you get your food okay or what type of food you are you know buying okay this is also just kind of like seeking natural solutions okay what would be the more logical natural natural oh my god natural reasonable solution what's obvious And then we got this, <laughs> the snake. You know, you could just be holding on to like the beliefs or holding on to whatever, being possessive. You know what I mean? It could even be that you're worried about how possessive someone is being of someone that, you know, you like who might be oblivious to how this person seems very possessive of them or this person you can tell how they view this person and it's in like uh an admiration but you're like i just don't like how they you know refer to them or how they feel about them knowing that this person probably doesn't feel that way about this person and this person is feeling some type of way about other people who this person is drawn to when this person is kind of clueless about how this person is seeing them and how how they are seeing them is isolating them from everyone else who knows this person who everyone is cool with but this person is making things weird <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know and i mean those are the cards so i mean like aquarius that's it Thank you. You ate up some time too, just like your, uh, your Earth brother, Capricorn, ruled by Saturn, eating up the time. Pisces, I'm tired. No, I'm gonna give you what you need. 